Welcome to Andy's Powerboat Videos by Andy's Video Photography. To the shores of Lake Macquarie, round three of the Australian Superboat Championship. Video by Andy's Powerboat. Videos edited and created by Andy's Video Photography. <laughs> from around the world as part of this championship. We will have uh, nine boats out on the race course for race number one. Three of our super categories are capable of, in ideal conditions, probably on 140 mile an hour. Slightly shorter course here, the front straight will probably be the quickest part of the course right here in front of us, where these boats will be right up against the shore as they come past off the start and uh, over the laps during the race, which is half an hour race yes, distance. they will be. They will be absolutely flying out. They will be spectacular right here in front of us. And if you hear a race control, just off the back of the marina, you can see the two changes flag boys. And that's where the race basically uh, starts after the half an hour. So, um, as we have the boats going out onto Lake Macquarie, uh, just to warm their so engines up. Some of the boats up. are already out onto the race course, as I said. So in about 15 minutes time, they will do a sighting lap. Just to have a look at the race course for the first time as it is laid out. Slightly different to last year, if you were here. Uh, the BNC boys down to our right here from race control. Uh, they're probably a couple of hundred metres further down the course, which also extends the longer lap boys, uh, B1 and C1 down there, which is just out of sight of uh, us here at race control. So from here, they will run in an anti-clockwise direction. So, yeah. so they're going to uh, do a financial lap down around the course just to uh, see how the course looks uh, here on Lake Macquarie on this beautiful Saturday the 19th of October 2019 so again with uh, Alice and cloud in the Marina, sky here on the shores uh, of Lake Macquarie uh, so, uh, and um, getting into the water oh, this is my first Marvel offshore powerboat Marina. race uh, um, there's so much going on around the lake. It should be absolutely and, uh, fantastic for race one the of the 2019 Australian Offshore Superboat Championship on the, course, uh, earlier on on the shores well. of Lake Macquarie. So there's all sorts going on. We've got uh, the markets over there at Warners as well. I think uh, I went past this morning. So SUV Simrad just going up to the race course. 
Now, from memory, I wasn't in Bowen, but I believe that boat actually got upside down in an incident at the previous round of Bowen. So, Con and his team have done a huge amount of work to get that boat turned around. Uh, a little bit of structural damage, but the, the biggest issue is getting the, uh, the water and everything out of the engines when they do get upside down. So, good to see that boat back on course. Spectacular in the black and gold livery of SUV Simrad. Con is certainly one of the more passionate uh, people in the sport of offshore powerboat racing in uh, Australasia. He's just about to walk up to the truck now. I have to say thanks for Con for inviting me in because I'm playing super sub for uh, Dave Bisho Bishop this weekend. Which I've done a few times in New Zealand and here in Australia, but this time it's for real because he uh, injured himself in a water ski boat accident. Was it in Europe, Con? Yeah, it was. It was in Europe. What was yep. Bisho doing skiing? Yeah, he was. He wasn't skiing. He was driving the boat. He was driving the boat yeah, and yeah. it didn't and it went wrong. I think it went over, mate. So and it, he broke his femur in three places. How does that stop you from commentating or is he still in Europe? No, no, he, they flew him home on a jet and all that sort of stuff, but he wasn't allowed to fly. Oh, thanks, Bisho. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what mate, a, how you going? Just right? talking about it, mate. Yeah, good, what buddy. an absolutely good, mate. amazing venue. I know you've been doing a lot of press over the last couple of days and getting some news and that. It's a beautiful spot this down is, here uh, in this part of the, the world. This is president of the Australian for Offshore, offshore Powerboat Power Race. Championship. Mate, it's the best place in the world to race powerboats. I mean, look at the people around, the number of people on the shore, uh, the support that we get from Lake Macquarie is just unbelievable. All the boats in the middle of the course. Well, what do you want, man? Look at Warner's Bay over there. We can just see all the tents and everything else set up over there. Um, yeah, just just stunning, mate. Look at the waterway. I mean, man. Yeah, look, look for me, trying to compare it, like I've done a few of the rounds here in Australia, but I, I haven't been to anywhere that compares with here. This, for me, is almost uh, a Mount Monganui round uh, down on the east coast of New Zealand, about two hours south of Auckland, um, which is an, an inner harbour. Uh, but this is a little bit different again, but um, it, it offers a, it, it's different challenges from the likes of Bowen and some of the blue water races that we've got. Um, we've got a little bit of a breeze up there to maybe get a little bit of lift going, but what sort of speeds do you think you're going to see out of there today with uh, some of these big boys? Oh, with these big boys, it's going to be flat and hacker, mate, with this, with this sort of conditions. And I know that uh, Andy Smith in Dominamics got a new set of engines in, uh, and he's going to be pushing Roscoe and Team 3, or oh, sorry, Roscoe in Maritima and Team 3 because uh, he's really, really keen to do do really well this weekend. So you're yeah, probably going to be talking 200 k's an hour down the straights. 200 kilometres an hour, folks. And these are big boats. These boats are, uh, I think your boat SUV, it's some raiders in around that sort of 2.2 2 ton range. What are the big boys at? They'd be 3.5, maybe up close to 4 ton. 4.5, four, four, uh, four, they've got a weight. So, uh, and some of the others, you know, they weigh up from, from there up. So, um, and they're 40, between sort of 36, I think Team 3 is 36, um, up to 40, 41 foot. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be very exciting, mate. And we know what they weigh because they get weighed the world's biggest scales with the, uh, the Wilson Crane going in the boat into the water this morning. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Wilson Cranes do all this for free for the community of Lake Macquarie which is just absolutely unbelievable. I mean, without that sort of support from the community, we wouldn't be able to do it, but the crane scales are just unbelievable. Jesus. I might have been able to go on them one day. Right. You know? Maybe <laughs> <Really? laughs> the both of us. <laughs> yeah, mate, you're looking quite svelte there, buddy. Uh, no, hey, fantastic venue, and uh, thanks for having us here. There are a couple of the Kiwi boys that have come across, and I know there's going to be a few watching from the other side of the ditch on the live stream, which we will do for race one here this afternoon, if I can get my phone going. Um, your team, SUV Simrad, you've had a lot of work to do since Bowen because it uh, didn't quite go to plan up there for you guys. Uh, no, it didn't, mate. We, um, the boys, Les Binkin, who owns Marmol Point Marina, it was his first time in the boat and Kenny Tree and I had actually done the Melbourne round but we didn't get very far because we blew something up. Um, but yeah, they put it on its lid in the last race in Bowen. So um, yeah, just a full rebuild of everything. And so she might be a bit off the pace today because that's, this is going to be the first so real shakedown of her since the rollover. Since 2010. So we'll just keep our fingers crossed I'll be that everything goes together, since mate. 2010. Oh, this is my first real shakedown. A lot of work goes on behind mate. the scenes. Not yeah. much structural damage. Or was it more having to strip the engines completely down because once you get salt water in them, it, it's not good for uh, lubrication and moving parts. No, they don't seem to like it. I don't understand. I don't know why they don't make it all stainless. Like if I was building an outboard, I'd make it stainless. But 
No, the, the full engines have been pulled down. These are actually different engines. Um, so BRP, Evinrude have been absolutely fantastic in helping us get those ones up and running uh, and ready for this race, otherwise we wouldn't have made it. But it's all rewiring, it's, it's you know, new screens. We get, we're lucky enough to be sponsored by Simrad. Um, and they supplied everything that we could ask for. Um, Jay of Audio, um, Simrad did all of that stuff for us. Um, so yeah, no, just awesome, man. But 200 odd hours to pull everything out, put it all back together. So yeah, it's just, just how it is, mate. And everyone's got to work for a living too. Yeah, that's the hard part. It keeps getting in the way. <laughs> 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 all right, so that's uh, some of the behind the scenes work that goes on. So I think we've pretty much got all people down so that they don't blow it over. No waves, there's no nothing that they have to concentrate on, and they're going to be going as fast as they can, which means you know, just even a little bit of wind under the tunnel in the wrong spot, and backwards over they go. So, uh, we're not hoping for any of that, please. But um, it's good to see the little jet ski guys out there over there at Warner's Bay, they're going there doing their series over there as well. Um, over there in Warner's Bay, I was over there this morning. There's a car show, there's all sorts of stuff. Tomorrow, Spears Point, which is just behind us, they're actually going to have three to four hundred classic and vintage cars there. So if anybody gets a chance, get over there and... Yeah, we had the aerobatics over the lake this morning. There's markets over there. I drove past the markets uh, this morning coming into uh, into the marina. Um, so there's so much going on around this uh, absolutely amazing venue. Um, now, the other thing that comes into it with uh, the different types of boats and things, advantages, disadvantages, there's a couple of tighter corners around the race course. Uh, the Maritimo boat and uh, Dynamic Racing are both set up very, very differently with their drive system. So who potentially could that sort of be an advantage for here on this race course? Um, it's, I guess this is a good race course for both boats because you've got your long straights which would be great for Dynamic and then you've got your really tight corners which would be great for Maritimo because it's got out drives on it. Um, so yeah, it's going to be really interesting. I reckon in this sort of water and in, in this sort of course, T3's going to be all over them, mate. Yeah, and they're, they're, look, down on horsepower is unfair because they are running a different engine package. They're running a pair of 502 cubic inch Mercruiser big blocks. I'm used to seeing that combination in New Zealand with uh, the class racing over there. Very, very reliable, not running a whole heap of RPM, very, you know, and, and you know, they, they, as you said, they could keep these big boys honest, and that'll be worth watching. Boat's probably a little bit smaller too, so uh, like Dynamic, they've got the centre rudder, still running two props obviously, but um, the, the steering conditions between that and the two stern drives off the back of uh, Maritimo certainly are a different equation. Oh, absolutely mate, and um, you're going to see that today um, in these little tight corners that we get, especially the little dog leg over to the right over there, that's going to be really interesting because the boys are going to be right up tight as they come out of Warner's Bay. Um, yeah, it's going to be just so exciting, but of course, when you actually see the race today, you'll see the big boats, Dynamic and Maritimo, they've got two long laps to do. So they'll actually head off, and that's down the uh, southern end of the course, they'll actually head off down and have to do two laps that are a little bit longer than uh, Team 3. So they'll yeah, nearly, it's about 800 metres, so yeah. they have to throw those, it's almost like uh, with the rally cross where you've got to do those, those extra extension laps as part of that sort of thing. So that, that's a new thing that's been brought in this year? Yeah, look, we're trying to integrate parity into the sport so that anybody can come with, you know, certain spec boats. And the 525 boats, there's a lot of those around the world and in New Zealand. We'd love them to come over and know that they can actually compete on a, on a virtually level playing field with the, with the guys in the Extreme Plus. I mean, why not have six great boats? It sounds like they're up to Yeah, I think we've got some action down there. So you'll, you'll see how long it does take to get these big boats up on the plane because they're pushing a lot of weight. Uh, Prop-wise, they'll be set up for a, look, probably mid-range acceleration and top end. If you go too much top end, you're going to struggle a little bit with the accel acceleration. We have obviously. the uh, so, uh, prop size like on the of the Lake Macquarie uh, uh, come uh, out uh, onto uh, the course uh, just to go uh, out for uh, a uh, financial uh, lap.
Cruising around at the moment. They're certainly nowhere near full race pace. Just getting their eye to see where the marker points in. Will they be identifying some spots maybe on the shore for a couple of the bigger turns just to give them a reference point? I'm, I'm certainly hoping what they're doing is making sure they're not going anywhere near any of spectators or spectator boats. So that's the first thing I'd like. Um, but yeah, they're just, just sort of feeling up the water, seeing what the conditions are like and all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, and we've got, just as we look down there where the boats are going now, we see the um, Roads and Maritime Services guys, they put all their time in, the Roads and Maritime actually really support this event really well, and they put all their time in for free. Now, uh, Dynamic Racing's been a little bit late getting away here. I wonder if they've got an issue down here in front of us, it doesn't sound 100%. Whether it's just on one engine at the moment, but they're struggling to get that boat actually up on the plane, so hopefully that is not an issue for Dynamic Racing. Are they heading back to the marina? They've got a little bit of time before the race start. Could be something as simple as foul plugs or things like that, but uh, it looks like they may be heading back in. Yeah, I'm hoping that they just maybe spilled their coffee and they just need a rag and clean it up with me. Yeah, we'll go with that. So we'll keep an eye on that, but it looks like Dynamic. No, they're going to turn back out here in front of us. 12 metre long Maritimo with the, uh, the pair of 750 horsepower, 510 cubic inch big blocks in it. I don't know about you mate, that just sounds like it's on, it's either it's on a miss or it's got one engine down. Sounds like one engine has a potential misfire. That's not good for that boat. You can see them. Uh, that is not good at all for so Hayden in Dynamic Racing. Now, so when oh, he would be through, absolutely furious. I hope he can get that boat going. So that's Come on, Hayden. Hayden. Yeah, no, that does not sound good at all. Yeah, that boat is going to be a little bit of a mess for the Maritimo boat. But they're going to be Venue, 
there are access points right away around this race course and even the, the end of the, the if that's open, there's boats parked down there. So it is a fantastic viewing platform for powerboat racing. Oh, absolutely. And, and we look to the to the northern shore over there and you see all the cars parked in the car parks. And there's actually a walkway. You can see the people lining the walkway all the way around that the Lake Macquarie City Council put in. You can walk all the way from uh, Warners Bay all the way around the Spears Point Park. Um, and that's just a fantastic thing. They've got seats and they've got parks and they've got everything. So, and Lake Macquarie Council are a huge supporter of this event. They put over $100,000 into ancillary things around the lake while we're here. I mean, the toilets are all supplied by them. All of this, we get all the park for free. Um, yeah, they just they just really look after us. And so, big shout out to Lake Macquarie City Council. Uh, Rebecca Prince, she just does an absolutely fantastic job. Um, Ellen Morris, great work. So, yeah, without them, we wouldn't be here, man. Yeah, no, it's fantastic to have the local support. And I hope the kids playing cricket and soccer on the sports grounds that I drove <laughs> past this morning um, won't get too <laughs> distracted by 1,500 horsepower superboats running past their, uh, their sports grounds. I'm sure if they're playing cricket, they'll be running down to the water, mate. And just leaving the balls and the bats where they are. Yeah, how did you get out, son? Oh, I got hosed down by 1,500 horsepower supercat. <laughs> We talk about the race starts and things like that and, and just making sure around the race course with the sighting lap that there's nothing out there that shouldn't be where it is. Um, the most amazing thing I ever saw was on Lake Taupo and you're right on the waterfront of Taupo again, a great venue. We had a swimmer swimming down the front straight of the race course not 10 minutes before the race start. Really? <laughs> so That's unbelievable. A, deciding to do a long distance swim uh, 100 metres off the foreshore on Lake Taupo that, that's unbelievable, Jamie. Was, uh, yeah, delayed start, delayed start. Can someone go and retrieve that swimmer, please? Uh, mate, just up on the commentary. Up, up on the yeah, well, that's... So we uh, about so. uh, five minutes away from the race start. I heard dynamic racing fire back up in the pit area here uh, at the uh, Mumong Point Marina. They've shut it back down, yeah. so they'll be feverishly trying to uh, get that sorted out. I know the Maritimo boys were running from here. Uh, that uh, is one of their engine packages yeah, they, in the boat. Yeah, yeah, so they, they um, stop here right in the middle uh, where they check it. Jamie, I can't believe how absolutely this water then, looks uh, then, uh, on the beautiful banks the of the Lake Macquarie. So, as we say, thanks to new, visit New South Wales. I'm used to this coming from Brisbane, but I'm not even going to say about coming from New Zealand because it's raining again there today, apparently. <laughs> In saying that, it is raining. It can stay up. over there. And we seriously, I think everyone needs a little bit of rain around the country. Looks fantastic with all the boats in the centre course, mate. All right, so we've got uh, spectator yeah, boats yeah, yeah, right around and then the inside. Looks like the white flag's up. We've got the uh, yeah. start boats starting to make some activity yeah, down here to our left. And we shouldn't be too far away from a race start. Race one, Lake Macquarie, offshore superboat, round number three. I should get my phone up and running. Well, that's what I was going to say. Do you want me to... Um, you got, can you stream it? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how to do it, though. Oh, do you want me to teach this? Yeah. All right. Do do Hang on. Closest to the shore. Maritimo 11 in the, uh, the centre to the right of the star boat. Watch these rooster tails pick up. As they come down. Just trying to get that shut, so they have had a little issue off the start, they're just uh, at the tail at the moment. Looks like they may have got it back down and secure. So they go down to turn one and two. Issue off the race start for uh, SUV Simran. And who, it looks like, like Team Maritino. Out of turn one and two. Maritino got the advantage. Well, Team 3 got the advantage initially, but uh, that horsepower Team three on the in down second to place. Gave that initial advantage to Maritimo 11. Being chased by Team 3, and I think just in behind them is 900 horsepower of Yamaha Supercharged 450s with the, uh, the Nisbro team. And the, uh, the leading outboard boats are not too far off the back of the two leaders. Team Hulk as we await for is in fourth place. 
Right, and this is probably slow just as we've said that. So yeah, Con, you just spotted that. I'm gonna get this live stream up and running. They may have got it back up and running, but no, they've definitely lost some uh, straight line speed. Yeah, mate, and that one's running twin 450 Yamaha supercharged. So uh, they actually should be up beside T3 at the moment. So maybe they had a little overheat issue or something like that. Um, looks like, as you say, they're back up and running. Uh, I think that's we can see. We can see here uh, Big Annie and uh, Hayden coming back out in Team Dynamic. They're uh, going to be a lap down by the time they actually get up and start. But um, as they came out of turn three and four, uh, down the back straight. Coming up, I don't know what's going on. Team Maritimo in uh, first place. And Team 3 in yeah, second place. Race 1 of the 2019 Offshore Super Road Championship. Round 3 on the beautiful banks of Lake Macquarie. They missed the start. They had a misfire by the sounds of it. And they're going to come out in front of the lead. In third place. Maritimo Racing. Steve Dynamic have got their issues sorted, but they will be a lap down. Unfortunate. I don't know if it's one engine or both engines. SUV some red, so they're just coming through now. They're definitely down on straight line speed. As we have Team Maritimo come out of turn five, the I mark. five and six down towards turn Maritimo. seven and eight. Number two. So time race half an hour. Just making the right hander. Oh, listen to Maritimo. Those 750s are just screaming. Take a listen to this on the waterfront. This is when a commentator just goes, Turn one and two. 
sprinting disappearing down to turn one and two. <laughs> right, so race number one here on Lake Macquarie. Just a stunning, stunning day and a stunning, stunning venue. We've got uh, spectator craft right around the venue, inside and outside the course. Maritimo continues to absolutely fly. They've uh, made that turn. That's up at the F mark. So the right hand are just coming up to you now as we look right down the centre of the boat is the G mark. It's the orange mark. They're just making the uh, run around now. Big RPM and the boat's just sitting beautiful on the water. Not an overly challenging day weather-wise. Just a little bit of lift coming up the course, probably that back straight at Waters uh, Bay. And they'll have a little bit of a tailwind behind them. As they get settled into the last mark to complete lap number three. H and I, and the uh, big yellow one here right in front of us before the chicken flag. Boys is the A mark. Again, just listen to a pair of screaming 750 horsepower big box. As I go over to Team Maritimo onto turn three and four. Oh, Tim, has oh, he stopped? It looks like Team Maritimo has come to a stop. He's come to a stop. Maritimo, I think we're up towards H and I. Team 3, uh, just coming up to the G mark. Team 3. So as soon as we get an update, we'll uh, certainly let everyone know. Dynamic Racing certainly heading back into Carini here to try and get their issues sorted out for races 2 and 3 tomorrow. So, Pond potentially right now, where does that sit with the jumpers? Will there be a restart, potential of a restart? We were not even 15 minutes into the race. It's 
With the sport, and I've had it in New Zealand after the end of the race, someone said, when's the next race? Yeah. Well, that, no, that was it. Yeah. We've got two more races this weekend, 11 and 1 p.m. here tomorrow. Uh, similar format, uh, again, in this absolutely magnificent venue. Round four of the championship, head back up north to Harvey Bay. Yep, up to Harvey Bay. Um, but, um, yeah, up to Harvey Bay for the last round of championship. Yeah, it's November sometime. It has to be before the end of the year. Yeah, normally. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't mean it will be. But no, I think it's the first of December. Yeah, we might try and get up to that one. I think it's about four hours north of Brisbane where we are. I haven't been up to Harvey Bar, but I've got some uh, relatives up there, so that's uh, another great venue. Yeah, oh, absolutely, mate. It's a fantastic venue, so uh, everyone's looking forward to Harvey Bay. A uh, little bit of a shame, I don't know that there'll be enough time to get uh, Mike and uh, Griffith both back up and running, but uh, hey, you know, let's hope so, and let's hope there's not too much damage to it. Um, you know, if it's only motors and stuff, Griff and uh, Mike here are probably two of the best outboard mechanics there are, so they don't have to rely on anybody like I do to, to get their things back up and running, so they just do it themselves. I can hear Dynamic just reaping up in the pits behind us, so they're, uh, they're problem solving at the moment. So, look, I would suggest we're not going to get a restart here, uh, certainly tomorrow. Love to see you back down here on the waterfront at 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. again. Just hold off, we'll confirm that in the next five or so minutes. Um, 11 a.m. tomorrow. Day two of the 2019 Australian Offshore Superboat Championship here on the banks of Lake Macquarie. Uh, this will be race three, final race of the weekend for the 2019 Australian Offshore Superboat Championship. Andy Bowen is my name for Andy's Powerboat videos by Andy's Video Photography. Uh, we missed out on race two, um, but uh, at least they got the uh, race completed for race two. Race three looks like it's going to. Race three looks like it's going to be um, a cracker of a race. Uh, it's a bit choppy here on the sh shores of, and the banks of Lake Macquarie. A uh, bit choppy, but uh, the, that won't uh, worry the offshore powerboats because that's what they're used to and um, they love lifting out of the water and putting an absolute show here off on the banks of Lake Macquarie. Um, we should have the boats uh, do a, a lap around the course or they're just going to get straight into it and get, get the racing done. Uh, and then uh, in a few weeks time, I think they're heading up to Harvey Bay for round four of the 2019 Australian Offshore Superboat Championship, uh, which is supposed to be an awesome weekend up there at Harvey Bay in uh, far north Queensland uh, or somewhere in Queensland. Uh, conditions are windy a bit. Um, it, uh, the uh, lake is a bit choppy uh, because of the wind um, and uh, yeah as we have the boats come out of the, uh, the pits onto the course um, you've got TCR racing and um, yeah, so it should be a good race for race three of the 2019 Offshore Superboat Championship. And it's going to be very interesting who gets the run out of the chute on down to the main straight, which is down the end of the course of Lake Macquarie. And um, yeah, so. Just missed out on, on race two, um, but uh, race three is supposed to be a, I'm hoping it's going to be a cracker of a race. Uh, Team Maritimo, 
is the favorite of and Andrew, the driver of um, Team Maritino 11. I talked to him earlier over in the pits and he said that uh, he is going to be going full pelt at it. So, yeah, he was standing on the gas and yeah, so hopefully we'll, um, we'll be uh, set to see a clear race and hopefully nothing happens. Um, so, yeah. Um, so as we have the boats up the top of turn seven and eight, looks like that's where they stay to um, warm their engines up before they come down onto the course. And uh, once they, once the white flag brings and the pole boat brings them down onto the main straight with the white flag up and then they, they'll put the white flag down and that's when they'll just thundering down the main straight down towards turn one and two and yeah it should be fantastic so yeah just zoom in to where the boats are up onto the top of turn seven and eight just waiting for race control and to get um, this race under the way here on the banks of Lake Macquarie Sorry if it's so windy, but uh, I, I can't do nothing about that. So yeah, as it looks like all the boats are all together in a pack. Looks like that um, it's just, they are just about nearly ready to bring them down. So yeah, the uh, water here, the water conditions here on Lake Macquarie are starting to get a bit choppy because uh, there is boats in Lake Macquarie that are making it uh, very hard. But it shouldn't be okay. It should be okay for boats because they are in more worse conditions than this. I've seen them when they're just lifting out out of the water and jumping waves of basically nearly. Five. I, I can't really. Um, I can't really pronounce how high they come out of the water, but uh, I've seen them absolutely launch and, and um, like at Harvey, um, like at Bowen, Mackay, uh, in Newcastle, Coffs Harbour, and. Um, see these boats just jumping out of the off, off waves and the swell and stuff it's just oh, it's unbelievable and these boats are um, very very expensive machines I think some of them might be around the, I, I don't really know if they are around the million dollar mark but uh, 
Yeah, I, I, I can't even pronounce how much they would cost or how much they are. They would be around the two thousand dollar mark or around the thousand dollar mark. So yeah, but uh, it'd be interesting to ask one of the drivers how much that their boat is worth. Um, as we have the red flag up on the pole boat. Uh, it still looks like uh, the course is still closed at this stage. Um, and uh, yeah, so once the pole boat puts the red flag down and puts the white flag up, we're hoping that the boats will start coming out of turn seven and eight onto the main straight and you'll be kept red flags down. Put yellow flags up, so. Just sitting waiting for as we can see some of the boats starting their engines up on the banks of Lake Macquarie as they're up in turn seven and eight warming their engines up as they're doing uh, a bit of just going around circles just that's called water warming their engines up and hopefully all boats are going to be running well for all the drivers because this is a very very expensive sport offshore powerboat racing and um, yeah so So as I just zoom into Hayden's boat from Diamic Racing, he uh, had a good day today in race two. Yesterday he had some very bad engine problems. Apparently boat wanted to be a, uh, yeah, just didn't want to do what it was supposed to do. So he wasn't very happy about that and neither was the race team. So hopefully that, uh, and he won. So we got the white flag up on the pole boat. So stand by ladies and gentlemen for race three and the last race of the 2019 round four of the Australian Offshore Superboat Championship here on the banks of the beautiful Lake Macquarie. I'm not going to be able to see down to turn one and two, but I'm only going to, I'm going to see them coming out of three and four over to Warner's Bay and then over to uh, turn five and six back on two and then on to seven and eight. So um, sorry about that, but there's just um, no way I can get down to the uh, see the turn one and two because that's just how the layout of the course is.
So it looks like the boats are coming out of turn seven and eight with the pole boat having his white flag to bring them all down onto the course. And it looks like Dynamic has full power. Rooster tail out the back of the boat. That's great to see for Hayden in D D Dynamic Racing. Oh, this is gonna be absolutely fantastic for round three, race rep three, as they come down. Set for a start. Racing and the, and the white flag's down there, racing. Maritimo down to the main straight, down to turn one and two, with the others here behind. Maritino down into first, turn one and two, down towards, to the, uh, down towards three and four. They are thundering down the main straight, down into turn one and two. And who's gonna be out of the chute first, down into out of turn one and two? And it's Team Maritimo, first place out of turn one and two, thundering towards three and four. Over to Warners Bay. And we have Dynamic Racing in second place. And Team 3 in third place. As they thunder over towards Warners Bay, turn 3 and 4. Maritino absolutely thundering over there. And Dynamic Racing in second place. Team three in third place. As the unlimited boats are, the ones in the in, in at the front, and Maritino is oh, it's neck and neck out of four and five. Absolutely thundering out of that corner. Andrew, the driver of Team Maritimo, is absolutely flying down towards turn seven and eight. And Hayden in Dynamic Racing is in second place. Team three in third place. As they come round turn seven and eight onto the main straight and this will complete the first lap Maritimo is absolutely flying down towards turn three and four over the Warners Bay. And yeah, oh, he's just absolutely put the pedal to the metal. And he has said to all the other drivers, catch me if you can. Team Maritimo coming out of four and five. Out of six. And absolutely 
thundering up towards seven and eight. over in turn four and five, coming to turn six. Man, there's a lot of people over there. Team Maritimo coming out of turn five and six. machines sound good on Lake Macquarie. Team three to complete the third lap of race three for the final race of the weekend. Timo is just past, he's lapping every boat and he's coming down around turn five and six.
Team Maritimo, Andrews Boat, thundering down the main straight. This thing sounds absolutely awesome when it passes race control down the main straight. Towards turn one and two. Yeah. As we have Hayden in, in Dynamic Racing, massive rooster tail. Timo over near Warners Bay, turn three and four. And this will be the final lap. That's not good at all. Maritimo has stopped. Oh, well that gives team three the, the lead. And Dynamic Racing's in third place. Uh, second place, sorry. Team three down to the main straight. Down the main straight! Thundering down the main straight!
17.3 comes down onto the main straight with Hayden in dynamic racing not far behind.
the rooster tail on Hayden's boat. Dynamic ra racing. Man, that's a lot of water. Getting thrown out the back of the boat. three in first place heading over to three and four over the Warner ba Warner's Bay bridge and Dynamic Racing is not very far behind team three laps they're doing but uh, still racing oh look at that big rooster tail by Hayden out of dynamic racing man that's a lot of water getting thrown out the back coming out of turn five and over towards turn seven and eight Side by side by Team 3 and Hayden in Dimeca Racing. Ding dong battle this is between Di Dynamic Racing and Team 3. Down towards 7 and 8. 
And it looks like Hayden just taken over and put him up into first place. Around turn eight. Rooster tail out the back. Onto the main straight. Oh, what a sight and a half this is. Side by side. What an absolute race that is. Been told it's, it's a half, half an hour race, so about 1:30, I think they finish. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, they're still still going. So anyway, as they come out of turn six, five, and six, and then on to down to seven and eight. Australian Offshore Superboat Championship here on the banks of Lake Macquarie for round three. With Andy Bowen from Andy's Powerboat Videos by Andy's Video Photography in commentary as they go down two, seven and eight. over there in on the back straight heading down towards turn seven and Hayden in Dymac racing onto turn eight with Rooster Tail out the back thundering down the main straight just come to a, a, a stop, complete stop, over on turn. Oh, he's got it back going again. I thought he was going to stop then, but he's actually, oh, he's struggling to get that peak boat, boat fired up. Yes, he's got it back going. They're back in, in it. As I zoom back over to five and six, turn five and six with Hayden in Dymac Racing with the massive big rooster tail. And he is loving these conditions on the banks of Lake Macquarie. As we want to say thanks to visit NewSouthWales.com.au 
Lake Macquarie Council for this fantastic weekend of these absolute awesome machines of the 2019 Australian Offshore Superboat Championship. Back on to turn eight with Hayden in dynamic racing with Roostail out the back. And this should be the final. And this is the... the checker flag for race three of the 2019 race offshore super road championship well done hayden Bowen from Andy's Powerboat Videos by Andy's Video Photography. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and we'll see you here next year. Same time, same weekend and there'll be plenty more Powerboat racing yet to come. Until then, it's bye for now. That's the end of Andy's Powerboat Videos by Andy's Video Photography.